In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, calculating taxes and the total cost of a purchase. And uh, this tutorial was written for uh, the province of Ontario, Canada, where we have a sales tax of 13%, and it's also called the HST, which stands for Harmonized Sales Tax. It's actually the combination of a provincial and a federal tax. And a couple of examples. The first one here says you're working at a big box, box electronic store and a customer arrives at your till with a laptop. The price is $679.98 and maybe the power's out, uh, but normally, of course, you'd use that till or computer to calculate the, the cost of it. So it's sometimes you might need to actually do this calculation manually. So that's what this is all. That's what this is all about. So an A is asked to calculate the HST, the tax, and then the total ta cost, including the tax. So 13% um, is 0 0.13 as a decimal. So we would take the 679.98 and multiply it by 0 0.13. And so we would go 679 and 98 cents times 0 0.13. And so the amount is 88.3974, and actually you'll see that come into the, uh, so we that's the HST, the tax amount. Now this is money, so we have to round to the nearest cent, so we need two decimal places here. So the 7 here is uh, 5 or larger, so it makes the 39 cents round up to 40. So this would be $88.40. Now, so that's the HST amount. So to get the total cost, we would add that to the original 679.98 uh, sticker price on the laptop. And we would get $768.38. So that would be the total cost. Now, I want to show you another way to calculate this, especially if you don't need to know what the tax is. You just want to find the final price, which is what a lot of people want to do. Okay, here's the, 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 uh, the, the price for, for sale, and what's my total after uh, tax price? Well, if you're adding 13% to something, and I'll put the calculation up here, then you're actually increasing it by 13%, um, which means you're actually finding 113% of it. So if I take my calculator here, uh, see 1 plus the 0 0.13. Uh, 1 represents the original amount, and we're adding 13% to that. So it's the same really as multiplying it by 1.13. 1.13 multiplied by something automatically adds the 13% on. And so if we go 679.98 times 1.13, we get this amount. And again, that 7 would make the, uh, uh, the 37 round up to 38 cents, and we get exactly the same prices here. So there's the amount the calculator, which, of course, gives us 768.38, the same as the original calculation. Now, depending on the question, and any rounding that might have been done, you might sometimes see a, a cent difference here. Okay, but it should be often the same and sometimes maybe a penny off. Okay, but uh, you should generally be pretty much the same value. Okay, example number two, uh, you're working at a retail store and a customer asks you, what is the most expensive pair of jeans they can buy for $100? Maybe they, including the tax, maybe they walked into the store and realized that they forgot their wallet at home or they forgot the credit card and they have $100 on them and that's it. Okay, so uh, now the and the last page, the, at the bottom of the last page, remember we took the 679.98 laptop and multiplied by 1.13 to get the final price. Well, now we have the final price. This, is, this number is the 100 bucks. And we want to find out what the original amount was. You see, if I had, if uh, somebody told me the after-tax price was 768.38 and tax is 13% and asked me to find this number, this is what I could do. We could take the 768 and 38 cents and do the opposite of multiplying by 1.13, divide by 1.13. And you see there we get the 679.98. We get the original amount. So that's what we can do here because you see uh, it's not as simple as saying, well, let's find 13% of 100 and then subtract it. Some people might think that's going to work, but you'd be finding 13% of the final amount, not the original price. So to get this retail price, we're going to take the $100 and divide it by 1.13. So maybe we'll bring the calculator back another time. 100 
divided by 1.13, which would be, uh, and now again, this is money. So we look at two decimal places. The next decimal is a five. So we would round the 49 cents up to 50. So it'd be $88.50. So that, if they uh, were to uh, find a pair of jeans for at most $88.50, then their $100 is going to cover it. Of course, if it's less, then there's, they're, they're going to have some get some change back. And of course, you can check that. 88.50 times 1.13 gives us $100. Now, again, I talked about the rounding a little bit. Um, this would actually round to $100.01. Um, if you're paying cash, certainly they're not going to uh, get the uh, ask you to pay a penny because there are no more pennies, so it would round to $100. So just to answer the question, the most expensive pair of jeans they can buy for $100, tax included, would be $88.50. And that's the end of the tutorial.